don't like it. I love it, love it, love it. Welcome back to the Real Estate Rat Pack Radio Show with Chris, Tim, and Rob. All three of us. You can dial in at 800-808-5548. Man, we're having a great time today. Yeah, we're standing by, too. Just, Absolutely. Just we're just standing by. We're sitting here waiting for a call. Do you know what we failed to do? What? On that last segment? We forgot to tell her how we could get a hold of her or for her to tell everybody else how they could get a hold so of her. So talk right into that mic okay, and tell I'm us. I'm Delara Aubon. You can give me a ring at 832-419-0259. If you're an emailer, uh, you're a little bit shy. You can email me at Delara, D-E-L-A-R-A, at AubonProperties.com, A-U-B-O-N, Properties.com. I also would like to uh, extend an invite to our Women's Council of Realtors Houston chapter luncheon in January. Um, please look at our uh, Facebook page to find out all the details and information, but we always have a fabulous program and a delicious lunch at Maggiano's. I love it. Every you know, you know what I often hear when someone use the term, give, it, give me a ring at... So I'm thinking, if you give a ring, make sure it's at least five carat. Yes, exactly. yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is great. Well, we have our next guest coming up, and you Tim, know who, who's responsible for our next guest? Our, our next, you we know, did. and we got to tell him we have Dave Dickinson we, we, in the house. In the house, oh, I put it all over Facebook. <laughs> but what's they, he doing here? Yeah, what's he doing here? <laughs> well, we, we uh, use you to you know find good talent, bring in. But, so anyway, I do so, have an eye for talent. I yes, must you say. have a great eye for talent, and you brought uh, two beauties today. Well, I'll tell you, you know, in the Woodlands, we have a, a great marketplace. We have some incredible professionals, and uh, I have the privilege of working with several of them. Raul Georgie has built himself a, a team that is second to none, and I'm, I'm fortunate to know Christy Griffin and, and Brenda Dominguez, and I've, they've, they've agreed to join me uh, because they, get, they, they wanted to meet the elf. <laughs> so I, I take no credit for this, but uh, they're just awesome professionals, and the, and we're so glad to have them in the woodlands. And so. I'm not an angry elf either. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I was really actually excited to see the elf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have been today. I knew it. Well, yeah, Chris, you'd be surprised. The first time he did that to me, we were all sitting there talking, and all of a sudden he walks in and yells out, Dad! And I and I, I lost it. I, <laughs> I absolutely lost it. But so, he had no idea I was coming as an elf again today. He asked I, me, I said, I'm not putting on that elf outfit today. I was more excited <laughs> maybe to see the syrup, but... <laughs> <laughs> now, I want you to go into the egg and I with that bottle of syrup, by the way. Yeah. I will do so. Absolutely. I think that would be yes. appropriate. So, Chrissy, talk to you a little bit about your business, how you got into real estate or why you got into real estate? Sure, sure. I'm very excited about um, being here. So thanks for having us. Um, you know, I started off in college uh, focusing on a marketing career because I'm very, uh, I like to think outside of the box. And, um, there's a box? Yeah, there's a box. Can you believe it? Hello. Um, and then I got in, I, I had to make some money. So I got into sales and I just couldn't, I couldn't leave it. Sales is where my heart is along with uh, my creativity-ness. So I, uh, you know, once my husband and I got married and we were looking around, we visited all the communities around um, the Houston area and we landed and planted in the woodlands and I couldn't say no to, to being a realtor. So here I am. And yeah. I was grateful enough to, uh, to, to start my career right at Remax. So. Yeah, well, of course, that's where our own Tim O'Neill lives. If yeah. you're not living in the woodlands, you're just camping out. <laughs> oh, <Exactly. laughs> well, I guess I'm camping out. Yeah. <laughs> we love campers, by the way. <laughs> so, and you've been in the business uh, for not a very long time, but you probably have already seen some changes happen. Of course, we just had TRID implemented in October, which has changed most people's world. So tell me. A little bit about what you've seen different about the market and what you've seen different about how you're practicing your real estate. So since you brought it up, I haven't been in the market a long time, but I actually am grateful to be surrounded by people that have been in the market. Um, so uh, knowing what the market was like when I came in and how I had to work to get clients where they need to be uh, in the house that they'd like to be in, um, I've, I've seen that people are qualified but you know because of the things that are working especially on the north side with so much of the um, transfers being in for oil and gas people are just a little timid to make an actual move so I feel like as a realtor um, you know I just need to focus I'm trying to focus on not necessarily the changing market but what I need to do different to help my clients get where they need to be even in this market that is again not not necessarily bad at all like you said but still hot but 
yeah. not as we're good moving as it into was. what I would consider a normal mark. And if you, mm-hmm. and Dr. Ted Jones, we've listened to his uh, prognostications, and uh, he 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 think that prices are going to remain high. In fact, go up, but sales numbers are going to go down, probably around ten percent. Mm-hmm. And so I think we're seeing that. And of course, last year in the Woodlands, um, we're seeing so many multiple offers. And nowadays, you take a listing, and you're probably hearing about it in your office. Uh, the, you know, sellers call them. You know. I, been on the market for two hours. Where's where's my offer? <laughs> yeah, so we're having <laughs> and it's not happening. Yeah, we're having to set expectations a little differently for our sellers for sure, um, because we kind of are spoiled um, in, in Houston in general, but especially on the north side. Um, so just letting them understand that you know this is a still a hot market, but you no, know, we're not going to probably get the triple offers in two hours like we did last summer. Yeah. <laughs> and that can be challenging because I do know you know there are some areas in which. You see the multiple offers still going on, you know, but I give myself an example. I've got friends all over. I've got friends in the Woodlands and Pearland and Katy and in Midtown and Memorial. And so depending on where you're at, sometimes like, oh, I put my home on the market and you got five offers. I was like, really? I've had my mom on the market and I haven't gotten one yet. So it's sort of hard to set that expectation because different areas do move differently still. Sure, sure. And actually, I actually, we actually do have a listing out in Katy and it's, it's a great listing and, um, you know, it, she she did. My seller did say, "Hey, look, you know, my dad's uh, house just sold, and what's going on?" And I had to do the, you know, I had to explain to her that, you know, every section and every neighborhood and and every part of Houston's a, a little bit different. Oh yeah. It also depends on, um, you know, you have to find buyers. And you have to get the buyers out and where they where they are. Um, everybody's it's all subjective. Yeah. So. And that's yep. always been the challenge because you know consumers are very savvy nowadays because they're reading you know, national, local, you know, statewide uh, information. But, you, you know, markets are local, but not only local, they're micro. And, you know, getting reality and expectations to come together and merge, that's that's the challenge right now because they did remember seeing that, reading about it, seeing so many multiple offers. Uh, I remember the, uh, we had uh, Brad Carlson on last year that was up in the Woodlands. He was talking about his, and, uh, one of his sellers said, make it stop. It was like throwing a fresh cow into a river full of piranha. The, the, the realtors were everywhere. Is that, yeah. <laughs> is that an image? Yeah. But he, he said that they were uh, blocking the uh, driveways. They were doing all that. And so I really think even for sellers, this is a better situation. You like that? that yeah. All the guys <laughs> crossed their legs when he said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I think you're right. I was talking with Santa behind me, and he said, you know, he said, you know, there's not a lot of homes really right now over in the Hollister area, but if you call a guy by the name of Eric Dominguez over there, he could probably yeah, find he you one. He sells for some, some yeah. little bitty home company, Some he? little bitty home company called KB Homes KB over there. KB Homes. That is, that is correct. So, so we're, uh, we're, that's what I was told. So Santa, you know, he knows his stuff, generally speaking. Just yeah, want to well, put that out there. I, I, do they have like a three-sleigh garage out there for you? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to let you say a few words after a while. Yes, oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Ho. <laughs> There's a straight line for you. <laughs> <Ka-ching>. <laughs> Home run. So, you know, uh, looking at MLS stats, which uh, we, we follow, and of course they, they always do a broad brush of entire MLS, which covers seven counties. We're looking at about 4.6 months supply of home. Uh, I don't think there's that much supply of home still in the woodland. I, I like I said I think that some sellers are just uh you know they want to hold back and I think honestly this is the best time um to go ahead and just just put it on the market because I think the comps that we're able to use now to to list the house are are better than they will be in 3 months more realistic mm-hmm. more realistic so. and that's very interesting because you know one of the things that sometimes individuals struggle with is the appraisal side of things mm-hmm. right and so a lot of times an appraisal is going to lag behind in a hot market why because you know, it takes a little while to get it registered in the MLS, et cetera, et cetera. But all of a sudden, whenever you have a little bit of a cooling down, it's still a hot market. It's able to be caught up now. So now what we're seeing is we're not saying, I don't know if you're seeing the same thing. You're not seeing some of the appraisal issues out there anymore because it has had a chance to catch up over the past six months. Right. I agree. So that's why I said right now is in this next, you know, even three months, um, it's, it's a great time to sell. And and also for buyers right now, man, if you could get out there and find a deal, especially with a new home builder. Yeah, well, Christmas oh, time is a great time to yeah. cause new home builders. And <clears throat> maybe Santa can verify this, but if they've been sitting on inventory and it's being appraised at current market value of the home as opposed to land value, they're about to get hit for some property taxes. So a lot of them are very motivated to move off of some inventory that's sitting 
So it's a great I time. I will tell you, though, if you sign a contract today, I'm telling you from the mortgage can, side Can you of close things, by the end of the month? I don't necessarily know if you're making <laughs> December 30th, okay? So let's set right. proper expectations. There you go. <laughs> you know what else, Christy? Uh, one of your colleagues is a great friend of our show, Frank Gray, up in the Woodlands. So yes, Got to give him is. a shout out, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. He actually, uh, Frank was actually... Um, the guy that they brought me on to Remax, so I really, I really look up to him. He's great. He's, he's yeah. a good he's guy. He's a very good guy. And, yes. I, and I've known Hello. Raul for Merry years Christmas, years. Frank. Yes, I've known Raul Julia for mm -hmm. a long time. He's a good guy. Uh, I'm very grateful to be a part of the Georgie team. So, so anyway, um, talk a little bit about what you expect for 2016. Well, I like I said, I, I still think we're going to stay in a hot market, um, but it, as we as we move forward and the market corrects itself, like we were talking about earlier. Um, we will see, I think we will see it go down a little bit more. Nothing to be scared about, but uh, for sure, uh, like I said, right now is, is a great time to I move. I think we're gonna move into a real market. <laughs> as, of course, now what we're looking at from, again, we're talking about a broad brush of the whole city, is that anything 700 and up is gonna be on the market a, a long time. Mm -hmm. And they're talking about the 700 specifically, be, we already have a 10 month supply of $700,000 homes. But you know, and I will tell you this though, and, and not, you know, not to interrupt, but I will interrupt anyways. Yeah, that never stopped um, me. Yeah, yeah, that that never grief. stopped me ahead of time. Is even though there was an increase in the Fed rate, believe it or not, it was already priced into the mortgages. And what's happened over the past couple of days is rates have actually fluctuated back down again. So while there was that initial jump whenever the Fed went up, rates are still at a great time. They're still an extremely low product out there. Your average government loans are still in your threes. Your your conventional loans are still in your in your low fours, four, four and an eighth. Your jumbo rates are still in the threes. So I mean, it, it's still one of those perfect storms. I tell everybody, it's still a hot market. There's still available inventory. You can still negotiate a good deal, and you can get great financing. So you know, if you're out there and you're sitting on the fence, don't because it's not going to get better than what it is right now. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, exactly. a good mortgage company trust. Oh, uh, do you have any good names of a company? Do I have any good names of a good mortgage company? I've I've got a, I've got well maybe one. That right. I I can only <laughs> only one comes to mind here. Yeah, Willow Bend Mortgage, Willow the ben. great Chris Kelso. And of course, I always talk about me being seasoned. You don't allow me use the word old anymore. But that is true. You are very seasoned. Uh, you don't. Uh, <laughs> <in the laughs> Cajun blackened season. In the eighties, it was eighteen percent. Yes, mm -hmm. and we sold homes. Right, of course, we sold them on negative AM loans. We got to the 1990s and it went down to 10%. I thought we'd died and gone to heaven. Right. So people, when they see see a quarter point going up off of 4%, I'm going, really? Right. Get out there. And that's It's not going to... It's not going to get better. You might no. only be able to afford 5,000 square foot homes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, boy. Oh, gosh. It's terrible. <laughs> we, we have, yeah. been... No elevator, no wine cellar, but, you know, you can still swing a deal. <laughs> we're we're, we're kind of coming up against a break. Uh, Christy, tell us how we can get a hold of you. Well, um, if you'd like to call, I'd love for you to call in at 832-610-5511. If you'd like to email, my email address is Christy, K-R-I-S-T-I, at TexasReal.com. And you can also find me on Facebook. How can we find you? What, oh, what on Facebook. Facebook? You could just go. <laughs> <laughs> just Facebook. Just Facebook. You're about to say just Google. Facebook. <laughs> I know. Uh, you can Facebook at Christy Griffin at uh, Remax, the Woodlands and Spring. Love and you'll it. find me. That is awesome. That the reason why I ask this, sometimes people will say, catch me on Facebook, and then you go, you look them up on Facebook, and it's like, I can't find you. like, oh, I don't go by my normal name. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we, we, we've had that happen. Christy absolutely. the Invincible, no. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. That is awesome. Well, as usual, we're coming up against a break. We still have plenty to go. We're only halfway through. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.